Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Fiat 500. It could be practically any engine from year 2008 to currently year 2022. Currently, guys, if you want to know the symptoms of bad throttle body, how it can affect your car, stay with us. We'll cover that in this video today. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we guys do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts tools for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically 2015 fiat 500 abart the total body guys is usually located on the rear side of the engine this is uh, the exhaust manifold with the turbo it will be super hot if the engine was running this is the intake manifold that's where the total body will be located and if you pay attention right here this is guys the throttle body and it attaches to the intake manifold okay right there with only four bolts what are the symptoms of bad throttle body now the throttle body may have symptoms of bad throttle body but not to be a bad throttle body we will have a video how to test throttle body and how to clean it cleaning the throttle body can often solve your problems because if you have a lot of carbon buildup on the inside uh, that can prevent the throttle body from closing, opening correctly, and as a result, you may get problems that you think you have a bad throttle body. So always try to clean it first. But symptoms will be rough idle, uh, loss of power, guys, check engine light on, and code relating to throttle position sensor. Another thing could be stalling engine, engine dies, or it idles at really high RPMs. If it's stuck open, it may be allowing more air to get, and that will uh, actually make the engine to run at low, at higher RPMs because more air, okay, the engine will be revving up. Uh, now, sometimes it may try to compensate for that, and it will start closing, try to force closing it, and then it will open again if it's stuck. And uh, what can happen? Okay, your RPMs may go up and down. That can cause rough idle. Another thing, it can get into limp mode sometimes, it can affect the car to where, okay, you will have very limited power to where you can just safely remove it out of the road, guys. But uh, number one will be check engine light on, okay, uh, number two, rough idle, three, okay, uh, will be unstable idle, high RPMs, idling at high RPMs, low RPMs, and uh, something else, if you press the gas pedal, it's not responsive, that could happen as well. Uh, no change of RPMs. The, the car maybe idles correctly, everything's good, but once you start to uh, press the gas pedal, nothing happens, it could be bad throttle body as well, guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that. If you have any questions, uh, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.